before we get started, before we get started, you know, you need to have fresh salmon. Yeah. So you need some of that butter. Yeah. Some fresh baby spinach. For sure. You're going to need you at least two pounds of shrimp. You're going to need you some cream cheese, some basil, some thyme, and some whipping cream. Like heavy whipping cream though. Like this. And you're going to need some Parmesan cheese Some cheese -y. And then you're going to need you some of that bad food, little white wine. You know what I'm saying? Get it from Walmart. Some mashed potato. You can have this kind of mashed potato, but you can have the regular baked potato so you can mash it. They make you mashed potato. You get it? <laughs> but yeah, so let's get right into how we mix it step by step. Let's Once we go. get it some seasoning, you're going to need you something to slap your mama. <laughs> Not your wrong mom, but you get it. Some parsley flakes. Definitely some parsley flakes again. So I have two of them. You're going to need some Kanye peppers. Some of that onion powder. Yeah, the onion powder. For sure. You're definitely going to need some ground black pepper. This is very important. Definitely going to need them. Need them. For sure. And then, you got some paprika. Need paprika. That's so you got to season the salmon all the way. All the way with the seasoning that I mentioned. Right there. So yeah, put it right there. And on to the salmon is seasoned. You got to season the shrimp. Let's get the seasoning all the way in there. All the way in there. Right there. Let's see, we gotta get the seasoning all the way in there. Right the bottom. I use this kind of butter, but you can get any kind of butter if you want to. And you put it in there, let it get hot. And the reason why you put butter in the pan is because you want it to be crispy brown versus using regular oil. So you pull regular butter and let it just sit in. And then yeah. You wanna make sure you're always checking on your salmon. Like nice and brown. Make sure you get all that butter right there. Right there, gotta get all the butter right there. Right there. Right there. You want it nice and brown. Just like this. See, on the inside it's cracking because it's not cooked all the way. So you wanna put the stove on medium. And then, yeah. Let it cook on here. Okay, look at it when it's done. You know what I'm saying? Put it like this. It's good. Now, let's get it cut. While the shrimp is frying, make sure you turn them around so it's got that real golden and brown. You know what I'm saying? Turn them around all the way so it's that golden and brown. Now, add some more butter. To make the, the sauce for it, so that's more butter. Make sure your fire is on low, definitely need the fire on low. The shrimp is done. Ooh. Make sure your fire is on low. Give me some of that butter right there. Our garlic, you need two tablespoons of garlic, two, not three, not one, two. Put the fire almost too high, but now stir it. Make sure this all the way brown. And just all the way brown for like 30 seconds. A little bit of white wine. Yeah. Gotta add you some white wine in that joint. You feel me? And then stir it. Yes, sir. You need that to be golden brown. Right there. Right there. Now we add some of that whipped cream in there. And then. Some of that slap your mama seasoning. And then we stir it for another 30 seconds. Just like that. Just like and it's that. time to add some of that cheesy in there. You don't want to put the whole thing. You want to put like half of it. There you go. Keep a little bit in there. Y'all know how extra I like to be, right? So we add some of that, you know, parsley. A little bit in there. A little bit in there. Yes, sir. Ooh. Let me add the shrimp inside of it. Just like that. You can stir it. Ooh. Mm. Look at that. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Cheesy. Cheesy. Ooh. Yes. Holy. Mm-hmm. 
content. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for staying tuned with me. And we out.